welcome. using clay and hand building. The clay I am using is a clay that needs to be dried and then put in a kiln and fired. You can also use oven cured clay or air dried clay. You can use most any kind because what we're making is a decorative piece. What I have done here is I've taken a small amount of clay. I have flattened it out. I've used a, just a piece of uh, tooling, dialing, dial. Anyway, and so I flatten it out to be about a quarter inch thick. Then I take up an X-Acto knife and I cut the shape of my tree. Now this shape, it can be short, fat, can be any size you want it to be. And then I come across. So this gives me my initial shape that I'm going to work on top of. Okay, now you'll notice I'm working on a piece of drywall. Now this drywall allows me to move my clay around. If I put this on top of a regular table, it's going to stick. Once I have my shape of my tree, I'm going to put a hole in the top so that I can hang it. That's a guideline for me. If you don't put the hole in the top, which I didn't in my samples. Um, if you look, see, I don't have holes in the back of them. I can't hang those. I cannot, they're something that can just lay around and be decorative. Then after I do this, I take pieces, small pieces of clay, like a pinch, and I take it and I roll it into pea size, like a little peas, or a or marble, whatever you want to call them. Then I'm going to take and make them into boughs of this tree. Now, if you'll notice, I take this, put it in the palm of my hand with my thumb. I press from the back side of it. So you have a thin side and a thick side. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. Then you take a sharp tool, anything you have, and you make the little marks for the leaves. You want to take a little bit of water and you start and you overlap it slightly so that you can cover up that form that you have behind. Form it into a place then you take another and you keep layering it. You want to what we I call brick laying it which means you do not you don't leave a line down the middle of it you want to overlay it to where it kind of overlaps if you look at your trees your fir trees and stuff you'll see that they have that kind of overlapping look and they're not all even they're not all the same size and when you're doing hand building it's it's a creative thing it's not something that you know so my second one i'm going to lay it up a little bit like this again taking and pressing this is why it's called hand building because you're going to use your hands a lot. Okay, one more and then I continue layering it. Now when I get to the top, I'm going to stop right about here. Okay, then I'm going to take and if I want to put a star or something on top to decorate it, I'm going to make sure that hole is open so that I can hang it. and. That way it can be used as a decorative piece. The ones that are that are kiln dry, kiln fired, like the one I have here, you have to let it dry for about a week, 10 days. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before you have it fired because if you don't, 
it's going to explode in your kiln and you don't want to do that for anybody so as you see we're just kind of layering them in like putting a brick layer up so as you come up you continue to go until you get the finished product your kiln dried the kiln fired clay needs to dry for the as i said a week to 10 days then you can have it fired depending on the type of clay you have it is determined by how hot it's fired and you need to make sure you tell the shop that's doing the job for you how how hot it needs to go if it is air dried you just merely let it sit in the air and sit it out in the room until it's totally totally dry if it's oven dried uh, there are several different kinds of clays that are oven cured and follow directions on using that and then you have a, a finished product thank you for watching join us on facebook um, and instagram and watch go to our website and check out our website also check us out on marketplace because we have um, some things we're selling there too and thank you very much for watching